What's good? This is Justice from Trapped in a Race. You're watching Pit Cam TV. Today's been kind of a, uh, a lazy day. I, I intended to go to the gym. I looked up some gyms in the area, but they were all, it seems like everything's kind of like an expensive taxi ride away. So I've kind of been sitting around eating junk food all day. It's being a uh, real piece of shit. I um, watched Die Hard earlier. It's a good movie, good action flick featuring Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson, who's also a great actor. Yeah. That's my whole day, that's it. Pretty lazy day. What is the difference between the scene in Europe and the scene in the USA? Oh, so many, so many differences. Like uh, one thing is just like the, um, the style of like promoting the show, like you know, um, and like the venues that you guys hold shows in. Like I feel like it's, um, it's. I mean, there's business on 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 each end of the spectrum, but it's like different. Like I feel like people find uh, ways to do shows in in like kind of unorthodox venues here. You know, maybe like maybe spots that aren't really necessarily intended to be music venues um, as far as like people. I mean like people, like hardcore and punk rock music people have, there's, people are the same. We have a lot of similarities wherever you're from, you know? I can relate to, you know, a hardcore kid from Europe just as much as I can as a hardcore kid from the US, but you know, there's different moshing styles and like different styles of clothing and stuff. I'm wearing my German sweater today. It's from my friends and is it, I think it's Mazine is how it's pronounced. I really like this a lot. It makes me feel like I fit in. But uh, I don't know. It's, you know, hardcore's universal. Punk rock's universal. And, um, you know, we share a lot of the same ideas. But there's, there's uh, subtle differences that, that you notice. You know, like I said, like the, the style in the pit. And people have a different type of appreciation for it here. I feel like it's like um, not like so much like, a, um, like the way somebody would appreciate a rock band. You know, it's like a real personal uh, very, um, I don't know, people are just very appreciative over here and they have a different way of showing it. You'll be around for another two weeks on this tour, so which is the city you are you looking forward to most? Um, actually, Ber I've been looking forward to Berlin. Shows in Berlin are always cool. I have a lot of friends here. Um, it's kind of cool, the, the, uh, the guest list was crazy tonight because everybody has so many friends here. It's a great city, it's a, a cool city to go hang out in when it's not I mean, it's like pretty nasty out right now. It's getting dark now, but it was raining terrible earlier. Um, lots of cool sights to see and a lot of history here. But uh, yeah, most importantly, lots of good friends and it's always good shows. So I, I have been looking forward to Berlin actually probably the most of any of the shows. I'm looking forward to England a lot too. It's gonna be really cool doing like shows with a band like Your Demise, who's like a big band and well received, especially in England. If Trapped Under Eyes, the whole band was a Simpson character, what character would it be and why? Um, Maybe this might be a typical answer, but maybe Bart, you know, because we're all knuckleheads, but in an innocent way. You know, Bart's innocent. You know, he doesn't he doesn't mean to start trouble or he doesn't want to, you know, do you know, but he just finds himself starting up shit and being a knucklehead. So I guess we can kinda of relate to that. I guess a lot of punk rock characters. Bart's a punk rocker, you know? He's he's like a hardcore kid. He probably, you know, if he was here tonight, he'd probably be in the pit jumping off of shit. So I'll go with Bart. <laughs> 